What's up, what's up guys? I am back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this beautiful prom dress. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I made it, please stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go ahead and start by just doing our basic uh, mermaid waterfall skirt. Now I have a whole video on how exactly I do this skirt, so if you guys want to watch that video, it is going to be in the description. It's called the waterfall skirt, but um, other than that, just check this little area out and I'll come back to y'all when I'm doing something else. <laughs> Alrighty, so at this point, I had left my uh, bodice pattern in my studio, but I'm actually sewing at home right now. So we kind of had to do another one of our YOLO freeform cutting moments. So I'm just going to go in and actually just cut out a basic bodice. Um, so if you watch and kind of see, there's no real system to how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, looking at it, seeing how, you know, I would want it to be of course you're gonna go in and do your length measurement you want to do your bust measurement you want to do your waist measurement now due to the fact that this fabric doesn't stretch I added a probably about an inch of seam allowance which I don't usually do but I just added this inch seam allowance just to make sure and then whenever I go in and fit it to the actual person I can actually make it a little bit smaller Alright, so I know this is kind of hard to see, but basically all I'm doing here is we're going to cut out our neckband. So if you look to the left, there is a fold. We just took the around the neck measurement and we divided it in half and we just went ahead and cut that out. So basically, like I said, one side has a fold to it and the open side will go at the back of the nape. Alrighty, so here I've taken our mesh piece and I just went in. I'm going to add our little darts to make it fit a little bit better. And then after I add those darts, I'm going to actually go in and sew them. Now, the one step that I did mistakenly skip was I actually sewed the darts in off camera and then I also sewed the top to the skirt. Um, no special way of doing it. I literally just flipped the shirt inside out, showed it, sewed it right sides to right sides to the skirt and I just stretched it a little bit as I always do so um if you guys want to see how I did it just check out some of my other videos um they're basically all the same um and I also as you can see here went in and decided to add a few darts in the back to just help with a better fit Alrighty, so as you can see here, our top is sewn to our bottom, and we're just going to um, kind of lay that neckline out flat, and we're going to sew our actual neck band that we cut out earlier. We're going to sew that all the way around. 
Also, another thing that I did not state that I did was I cut up the back of the um, mesh. So after I was done sewing it together, I just simply cut up the back of it because that was not, you know, the only way that you'll actually be able to get in it. You know, if there's an opening, and later on we're gonna add a zipper. Alrighty, and this is just another video of me sewing all of the applicants down. I have a um, video that is, you know, specifically showing just me sewing down applicants with an actual sewing machine. But if you like to do it hand sewing, you can do that. But basically, at this point, this is just where we are sewing down our applicants. Alrighty, so this was kind of like a last minute step, but I was looking at the dress and I'm like, it needs more. Like, it was kind of bland a little bit. So, I was at my studio and I saw these feathers that was like in my drawer from like, oh, number project. I don't even know where it comes from. And I was like, let's put these feathers like on his shoulder. Because at first, originally, I wanted like some ostrich feathers to go on the shoulder, but I was like, I'm not buying ostrich feathers. <laughs> this is like a sample dress that I was just like doing for fun. And I saw those and I put them on and I was like, I love this. Like, if, you, if you look at it in a video, I'm like, I like this. Like, I like it. So, um, I just basically last minute sewed those on there. Um, so, yeah, this is just a video of me sewing them. If you don't know how I sew feather boards onto stuff, I just split them down the middle, do a zigzag stitch, sew it on. You know, I have a whole video on that too. So, if you guys want to see just a specific video on how I sew down feather boas um check out my channel but yes Alrighty guys, and that is it. Now I later on ended up adding a zipper down the back of the dress. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you stay tuned.